Hi everyone, so I'm going to start today's uh, A Day in the Life uh, of Our Life on Sundays. Uh, typical Sunday, hanging around the house, having fun, as much fun as we can, sort of around the house and um, not really going out but still having a good day. So I'm going to be making breakfast right now, we can have it in the balcony garden. And looking at what I have, can you guess what I'm making? I don't know. Well, I have, I'll just show you guys, I have some leftover cauliflower to curry. I'm going to reduce the sauce and I am making, they're not very pretty, but they're very tasty. I'm going to be making some cauliflower samosa. And in Bengali culture, it's amazing. It's basically what we know as samosa in North America, but it's vegan and it's all cauliflower. There's no meat. It's so delicious and you have them usually for evening snacks, but we're going to have them for breakfast. So I'm making you, I'm being resourceful, I'm making you some leftovers. How about that? That's pretty good, eh? That's amazing. Okay. I love samosa. Wonderful. So that's how we're going to start off our day today. So I'm just going to take a quick bite just to show you the inside. Now that's homemade samosa. That's right, and it's so good, right? So what kind of fast food do you feel like having? Uh, the barbecued pork with pung, pung pao shrimp. No, pung pao, pao shrimp. shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the kung yeah. pao shrimp and we can have noodles? With It's with noodles and barbecued pork. Okay, yeah. um, that sounds really, really good. I don't usually have pork, but maybe just this once a week thing that we have, we'll have it today. So uh, can you go and get it? And I will do catch up on work and relax a little bit in the garden if you don't mind, if that's okay. Of course it's oh, all right. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for going. The weather's not too, too bad today, so thank you. So you got okay. the Chinese food. Chinese Let's see. Food, yes. Oh my God, does that ever look good? So we've got the barbecued pork. We've got the kung pao shrimp. Does that ever look good? And we've got the beautiful noodles. So you're just gonna dish dish that out on some paper plates. I gotta see which one has more fat. Yes. Oh, it looks so good. And the coffee smells so amazing. I'm, by the way, banned from making coffee. Why? Because she somehow messes it up. Well, no, thank you for being saying the polite version. What happened was I broke the coffee machine the other day. Yes. Do you have a knife? Yes. Okay, you've got a fork, a knife, and a spoon. There you go. I think so. Mm. Who doesn't like Kung Pao shrimp and barbecued pork with noodles? It's very tasty, very spicy. The first time I heard about Kung Pao shrimp, it was on a TV show called Dirt Watch. And they, and somebody was going on and on about it and that's an American documentary and eventually they had it in Canada this was like 15 10 years ago and I fell in love with it and so good anyways let's enjoy yes I'm really glad we're one of those people who make the most of our balcony with the gardening that we do and stuff. 
because I don't think everyone uses their balcony in that way and I think it's such great space and I don't know I just find uh, in the spring summer and fall especially in the spring and summer we have this beautiful environment for eating and if we're quiet we can even hear more birds now Which is your favorite of the three items? <coughs> I have to say the barbecue pork. Really? Oh, okay. I like shrimp too, but yeah. to me the barbecue pork is where it's at. Oh. Just my, per my preference. preference. Everyone has their own yeah. special whatever. So I'm back now in the kitchen and I am preparing our Sunday dinner and it's going to be great. It's chicken biryani. i here and here I've got some onions frying, some sliced onions frying and I've got some pieces of chicken that I've marinated in ginger and garlic and biryani masala and I'm just uh, cooking this. So once the chicken is cooked in the sauce, I will be adding uh, some potato, parboiled potatoes and also some of the rice and then just sort of cooking it together. It's going to be awesome. Are you happy and excited? Yes, I can't wait for dinner. Great. So we're all getting ready and set. We're going on a riverside uh, picnic. It's not much of a picnic, but it's what we have. Nothing. It's better than nothing, but that's not the point. The point is, you can have a picnic with the right spirit. Whatever you have on hand, you can make it into a nice outing, outdoor outing, or an outdoor picnic, I should say, which is the same thing, because yeah. picnics usually are outside, though you can have inside ones, I've discovered. Um, so it's a beautiful park, beautiful woodland area, and it's gonna be maybe about a 15 minute walk. And are you happy? Yes, and we got chocolate cake. Yes, that's what you need for a picnic. We're at the park right now and we're going to see if we can maybe even see some Canada group geese and maybe some ducks if we're really lucky. Oh, I can hear the birds and that always makes me happy. At the riverside and it's just beautiful here. It's so calm and peaceful. We can hear the birds. Uh, George met some friends and uh, he's talking and uh, I hope we see some ducks or some geese as I said but it doesn't look like we will. But it's still a nice day for picnic, I think. It's just, I love it here so much. Oh, so peaceful. I need to sit down though. My feet are killing me. So you must love me very much because I know how much you love chocolate cake and you decided to give me the piece with the white chocolate on yeah, it. Yeah, the one, the, and there's only one piece of white chocolate. Wow. So.